All right, so now it's time to move on to creating the HDA processor. All right, and the HDA for that. So that way we can generate some points per terrain tile. Okay, and we're gonna have to get into some masking and stuff like that, but uh, we're also gonna cover some new tops notes as well. All right, so let's jump over into Houdini and get started. Okay, so let's actually just set up the top network uh, before we dive into creating the HDA itself, because we can actually just get things set up here. So one thing I wanna do is I wanna basically split out or what we call partition inside of top the top networks. I want to split it out into per tile. So per tile, I want to go and get all of the CSV information and I want to work on each tile in, independently. Okay. So what we're going to do is do a partition by index. Okay. So let's just feed that in there because if you remember when this particular split terrain is finally cooked, we get 16 tiles. So we can use that index number. So zero, one, two, three, you know, for all the different in indices uh, uh, or our actual terrain tile itself. So for each one of those little work items, we're going to partition all of the CSV information. And we're going to associate that CS CSV information with each tile. All right. So that's going to be that step right there. And then what we want to do is we want to then drop down another HDA processor because at this point I have a terrain tile. All right. Being fed in this side, I have all my foliage information being fed onto this side. So I want to send all of that information per partition or per work item into my HDA processor. And this HDA processor is going to be our foliage scatter. Cool. And this is going to be called our tile partition. There we go. Let's get to name those. All right, there we go. So the next step, what we want to do is we want to definitely make this a SOP level HDA. All right. And we're going to call this the scatter. So I'm just going to get these things set up here. And I am going to use the OS for this one. Cool. And actually, nope, we want, we do actually want to use the uh, PDG name. So at PDG underscore name. And the reason for that is because we're going to be, you know, working with a lot of tiles. So I want the actual name, you know, of the current work item. All right. So with that, we, we now need an HDA file. Okay. So let's jump up and out and jump into our SOP HDA geometry node and let's go and create a geometry node. Well, actually we don't need to do that. All we need to do uh, really is do a height field from file. All right. So height field file right here. And I'm going to duplicate my PDG output. This, so this is so we can actually test this. I'll feed that in like so. And I'm going to basically make that into a subnet. And I'm going to call this the IP uh, scatter or terrain scatter. Let's do something like that. Very cool. And we'll turn that into an HD. All right. So let's go and name this appropriately. All right. And we need to make sure we save it in the right project. So in our job environment variable. So we're going to save it right there. This way both Unity and Houdini can see it. There we go. So now we have our HDA. So we can uh, just cancel out of this for now. All right. And what I'm going to do is just jump up, go back into our top network here and just assign the HDA file to it. All right. So we want to do the terrain scatter and we want to make sure that we're using our PDG dir. There we go. Cool. So now we are all set up. So all we really need to do is just fill in the contents of our HDA. Okay. So it's kind of cool. You can actually start to basically prototype your top networks this way, right? You don't necessarily have to have all the functionality in every HDA up and running, uh, but we can actually get a, a top network set up so you can kind of prototype how your systems are going to work. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to uh, cook this this way. I can actually see the results of my split terrain and actually use it in my PDG output. Okay. So we're going to, uh, I'm actually going to just make that the output node. We're just going to do a dirty and cook. And the reason why I made it the output node is because I want all of these guys to cook. All right. Very cool. And I could have gone and actually done the partition as well. So when this is done, I'll be right back. All right. So it finished cooking there. So now we're good. All right. So 
uh, let's go and actually cook this guy too. So we're going to do a dirty and cook output. And you can see that uh, we're getting all these different work items, but they're this little rectangle instead of a, a dot. And it just indicates that this is a partition type of work item. All right. It contains multiple sets of data. All right. And so uh, what I want to do is I want to uh, click on one of these so I can uh, take a look at the actual data in here. Okay. And you'll notice that uh, we're only getting our CSV file. All right. And this time we got our BGO of our terrain tile. And that's just because what we need to do is we need to um, set the secondary input rule to all. So basically it pulls in all of these guys. So what I'm going to do is dirty and cook the selected node here. And let's take a look at this. And there we go. So now you can see that by setting that to all, we're taking in all the input from our CSV file and also in a terrain. So I have two outputs now. I have a terrain tile and I have a CSV file. All right, so this is actually going to change the way that we uh, go and work with the SOP level HDA because now we need two inputs, right? Whereas before we were working mainly with just a single input, okay? And so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to set this up in a, a little bit of a, a different way, okay? So we're going to have to add a, another input in here and we're going to have to set up the HDA a little bit differently, but it's not too hard or anything. So what I'm going to do is close out the lecture there. All right, now that we've got our node network set up inside of tops here, and we're going to start focusing on actually building out our HDA tool. Okay, thanks so much.